Hey everyone, today is Friday, August 13th. The time is 4.16 p.m. and the temperature outside is around 28 degrees Celsius. And I'm here at Ossington Station. And the plan for this one is to head on up to Ossington Avenue and then I'll walk over to Bloor Street West. And from there, I'll head west along Bloor through an area known as Bloor Court Village over to Dufferin Street and then I'll head south down to Dufferin Mall. And I'll walk through the mall and then I'll head across the street to Dufferin Grove Park and then find my way up to Dufferin Station. So this here is Ossington Avenue. And apparently at some point around five o'clock, there'll be some thunderstorms today. There's a look east along Blur Street. It's been quite a while since I've been to Dufferin Mall, so I'm curious to see what it's like there. It's also been maybe a month since I've been through this neighborhood. Toronto Bike Repair. I've got my single speed in the shop now, getting the rear wheel fixed. I need a spoke put in. There's Long and McQuaid, a popular music store here in the city. They've got a few other locations. It's kind of a neat window display. So this Bloor Court Village area runs along Bloor Street and to the east it starts at Christie Pitts Park and it ends at Dufferin Street and then between Dufferin and Lansdowne is Bloordale. And this also runs along the south end of Dover Court Village. And this is Dover Court Road coming up. This area is usually somewhat lively on a Friday or Saturday night. And my plan was to walk through here later tonight, but with the rain coming, and I have a trip. 
That'll be taking me to Ottawa in the morning. I thought I'll just come out a bit earlier and get this video in. And perhaps on another weekend, I'll come out after dark. And I think that's a popular bakery there. Given the heat, it'll be nice to be able to duck into the mall soon. And it feels like whenever I record this part of Bloor Street, I'm always on the north side. And I'm usually heading east. There's Michael guarding Kobe. And the old Paradise Theater that now has a wine shop. I think that takes up the lobby of the theater. I do have my umbrella on me, so in case it starts to rain at some point, I'll maybe squeeze in a second video after this. There is St. Anthony's Catholic Church. So the mall I'm headed to is a rather small mall, at least relative to the Yorkdale uh. and Eaton Center and Scarborough Town Center. Might only take a couple of minutes to walk right through it. And it originally opened back in 1956, but it's been extensively renovated since then. And I think I'll take Gladstone Avenue back north up to Bloor Street here. some more street art. I know people have mixed feelings about this sort of thing, but I quite like it. If I were a property owner around here, I'd certainly lend a wall to one of the talented local artists. Is the Green Merchant Cannabis Boutique. And 
And here's the rather stunning Bloor Gladstone Toronto Public Library. So it dates back to 1913. Although this addition here is quite recent. And coming up is Dufferin Street. There's Dufferin Station. I've seen more and more of those things riding in the bike lanes lately. style of e-bike is actually prohibited from doing that. But to say enforcement is lacking would be an understatement. There's an express bus and a look at Bloor and Dufferin. I'm just going to cross over to the west side of Dufferin here. And that school over there is Bloor Collegiate. And that fronts Bloor Street. And this is the old Kent Senior Public School. Well, it looks like it's now an adult learning academy. and the school board shut this down in 2012. It's kind of a nice old school, although it's in a state of disrepair, it appears at the moment. So now it's south on Dufferin Street. And the smell of garbage is in the air, and that would be why. There's a 929 express bus. That's one of the most notoriously overcrowded routes in the city. There's a guy selling luxury designer handbags.
And here's the KFC. I think the other half is a Pizza Hut, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's a Taco Bell. I thought there used to be a Pizza Hut in there. It's the right chain of stores. Taco Bell, KFC, and Pizza Hut are all, all owned by Yum Brands, I believe. Formerly a Pepsi company. Huh. Maybe someone can fill us in in the comments. Or I could just check out Google Street View and look at the older street views when the Google car last passed through here. I don't know why I said it all choppy like that. There's the main Dufferin Mall entrance. Looks like there's a fair bit of construction going on in the parking lot. So I could have walked up towards the beer store in LCBO. There's another entrance up there. I thought I'd head through the main entrance. There's stuff from Grove Park where I'll be heading afterwards. So this mall has been here since 1956. But from 1907 to just before the mall was built, this used to be occupied by a horse racetrack. I think it was called Dufferin Park Racetrack. And the original anchor is where that no frills is. That's a discount grocery store, but it was originally a store called Horizon which later became an Eaton's department store. And then in the 90s was converted into that no frills. And this Walmart used to be a Wolco. I'm just gonna slide my mask on here. side just because that guy was exiting from that side no big deal there's something you don't see too many of in the US a Toys R Us their Canadian arm never went bankrupt there's one right where I live at Young and Eglinton. All right, let's just hang to the right here. So here's that other entrance I pointed out. which is a Marshalls style store. I'm pretty sure there's a Marshalls in here as well. That's kind of interesting. And when I was a kid, I used to come to Dufferin Mall quite regularly. My father had owned and managed a number of bowling alleys back in the day. And one of them was located in this mall. be the closest Walmart to downtown. It's either that one or the one at Gerard Square. 
We are to the west of downtown. Gerard Square would be to the east. And perhaps COVID marks the end of free samples at Colonel's. to be a stairwell at some point in the middle of this hall here that would lead down to the bowling alley. I remember when this Blue Notes used to be a Thrifties. That would have been way back. There's a source by Circuit City that took over a lot of old Radio Shack locations. And this food court straight ahead wasn't here. I thought it was on the other end before. I think that was the case. You know what? I am incorrect. I think this was always here. And where this Rogers is used to be in EV Games. Or it could have been for that silicon stores. Yeah, this makes more sense. So it was just down here where the stairwell was that would lead down to the bowling alley. So long since I've been here, I forgot it was in an L shape. And there's a Gap factory store. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those before. Timmy's. I think that Dollarama is probably where the bowling alley used to be. Lobo. I've never even heard of that. So what became of Payless Shoes? back to Dufferin Street. Someone's having a yard sale. That's a look north up Dufferin. So to the south of here is College Street. And I was thinking of heading down there, but I 
think I'll just head through the park instead. That's Stefan Grove Park. Straight ahead. And don't look at the mall. I just heard that bus driver ask for whatever this guy has. I guess he's a little short on change. And here's the park. I remember when I used to go into the bowling alley with my dad, he would always park his van on that street right there. And I think at the north end of this park, there's an outdoor ice rink. And my camera just restarted itself. I'll have to remember that happened when I edit, just to make sure there's no gap in the audio. So this is kind of neat. There's some volleyball nets and a large splash pad just off to that side there. And just before my camera cut out, I said it doesn't look like it'll rain anytime soon, and I am now getting rained on. Not the smartest of comments I've made. So this path here is actually a continuation of Gladstone Avenue. Gladstone, I think, runs between Bloor, which is just to the north, and it'll go south to Queen Street in the West Queen West neighborhood. And that's where you'll find the Gladstone Hotel. And south of Queen, it becomes Sudbury Street. I wouldn't say it's exactly raining very hard right now. I think this is where the ice rink is, or at least it was. Maybe that's getting redone. And just up here on the right is St. Mary Catholic School. Looks like a new hockey rink and pleasure skating rink are going in.
this here on the left is the Adam House. That's a social services center. I think they help new refugees to the country. If it starts raining any harder than this, I'll have to pull out the umbrella. There's a look into the Catholic school. The camera's not getting too wet. But I'm heading north back up to Bloor Street. And then I'll just pop into Dufferin Station. If it starts raining heavier than this, I'll entertain the idea of doing a rain walk. But if this is all it is, I don't think it'll be all that interesting. Certainly is quite hot and muggy though. It's been so hot lately, I've not really had the energy to do more than just one walk a day, at most one walk and one live stream. It's got to be a really old house. I would guess early 1900s. And it's back to the library. If I can sneak across Bloor Street here, yes, I can. Sweet. There's the library again. It's a little bit better vantage point than the last time. And it's back to Dufferin Street. You can enter the station from either side of the road here. Uh, die for one. <laughs> Mask is on.
All right, time to head down to the eastbound trains. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this walk along Bloor Street through Bloor Court, over to Dufferin Street, and then through Dufferin Mall, Dufferin Grove Park. And then Gladstone Avenue and up to Dufferin Station here. And the train is rolling in. So again, let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there are links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And my chariot has arrived. All right. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. The next station is Ossington, Ossington Station.